Okay, I'm coming to you from a different angle. <laughs> I'm sitting beside my Holy Death altar. I don't normally show this altar often, but uh, I'm doing work in. Uh, I'm just going to show you the bare bones of it. Uh, it's for someone, a lady. Uh, she has a daughter and she just wants to reinstate uh, the mother-daughter bond. She wants to um, make the daughter realize that uh, you know she needs she, you know she wants her daughter to respect her more and to be a little bit more thoughtful uh, and to think of her and you know just just give her a little bit more thought so I made two dolls just little blue dolls because blue is good for healing uh, lovely dresses and I penned the, the petition uh, appropriately so what I'm going to do is just bind them together and I like to use these little boxes just little wooden boxes and I put a lot of powders in there so I've got some chamomile uh, and I've got paste powder that I make uh, I've anointed her doll with convince oil uh, and I've got some lavender in there some roses a little bit of roses and I've anointed the dolls with the same sort of uh, oils. Uh, I'm just going to bind them together because we want them to be, you know, together and we want them to heal and excuse my partner coughing downstairs. He's got a cold. He's, I know it's, he's, he's got a cold, but that cough is really irritating. It's annoying me. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just saying it myself what I want to happen and uh, yeah, I'm calling on the Holy Death for this because even though the Holy Death may be uh, construed as all about death, she's actually more about life. Uh, I've explained that in all of my videos, the Holy Death is great for family issues, for uh, anything to do with love, uh, fertility you know she's just really 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 good for things like that so I've got the laws and we're going to place them into the box I'm going to pop some shredded money because we want this we want this family to be uh, we want them to have you know prosperous we don't want them to be you know having any issues with finances and stuff I, I like to do that family families because um, I like to keep the road open that's uh, some peace powder again and it's a little bit of open roads uh, Abu Camino so I'm going to load that up with sugar and some more bits and pieces that, that I've got uh, and then I'm just going to close it up and bind it. It's a little box that says memories on it. And I'm going to bind it up with blue uh, yarn. Uh, I actually don't have uh, a blue Holy Death statue. But I will use a white one. I use the white one for this. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, and uh, I'll keep this on her altar. And I'll burn some blue candles. Uh, blue being appropriate for healing uh, if you don't feel comfortable working with a holy death on this one you could call on Raphael the Archangel Raphael who is an excellent healer uh, you could use this the seal of Raphael or just vibrate his name I'm going to go into more detail on uh, the archangels, uh, I'm going to go in the angels in general, uh, the Guisha, and also a lot more to do with uh, the demonic ends and things like that. Sorry, all you see is a hand, but <laughs> uh, because I think it's going to be interesting. Uh, the time has come where the channel is now, like I said before, uh, I'm going to be showing that more easy spells for the you know beginners. Uh, things like that so that you can work things 
you know, start start from the beginning. Uh, I think that's always good. I get a lot of people coming to me and they ask me, what ingredients did you use? You didn't put it in the description box. I don't have time uh, because I have such a high turnover of videos. But now that uh, I, I won't be doing videos for every client, uh, only by request. So it frees up a lot of my time. And what I'll be doing now is uh, just, you know, pushing out a lot more different opinions uh different avenues of work and spirits i want i want uh, you know just to go into magic not just one specific area uh i'm getting tired of jar after jar after jar so it's just a matter of getting everyone's work uh sent out to them uh that's really what was slowing me down uh but now i'm getting on top of things and uh yeah, uh, things will uh, definitely be taking a turn. I've got tranquil work on the way, and let me see. I have a heart spell for a client uh, that's coming up. Uh, I'd like to show those workings, especially the tranquil work. Oh, it's not really in tranquil work. It's more. It's like information in tranquil work and how I would go about it from my uh, my side of the fence uh also with my free time coming up uh i think i'd like to do some come on maybe uh here and do a go live and pull some cards for you uh i think I, i've got some free time always on a maybe um friday or sunday so that's something i'm considering no i've been saying that for a while now so i will do that so i'm just sitting in front of uh her altar I've show I've shown you the altar before. I need to get her some fresh flowers for her. Uh, but I have some some jar workings already here and some breakup workings over here. Uh, never put those jar workings, love work and breakup work, in the same space. If you're doing if you're not working with the Santa Morte, uh, I would do this because of this is her altar and she knows. Santa Marty knows, believe me, but because uh, you don't want it, the energies to collide, but because it's Santa Marty, uh I don't have a problem putting the two types of workings together. Santa Marty is extremely powerful and uh, I think it bypasses that, if you know what I mean. She keeps me uh, protected. Uh, she's uh, she's just excellent all around. Uh, in the, you know, I'm from Ireland, as you know, and it, it was really difficult to get statues of her. And especially of oh, this guy. Santa Marty doesn't uh, like to share her altar space with any other uh, spirits. Uh, sometimes you would see her with St. Michael. Uh, if you're, I see, tradi you know, some traditional altars, you know, really into the, the Catholic side of things. They would have... Uh, uh, with St. Michael on the altar with her, but this is Jesus Malver, and I'm dying to do a video about him because he is another folk saint, Mexican folk saint, and I just love, uh, I mean, he's amazing, he is amazing. Uh, this, this is sounding nuts, but this, uh, this statue looks at me in, in a strange way at times. I amuse myself at times. <laughs> At times I stare at it, I and mean, honestly, I I think his eyes move. Uh, maybe it's me just going nuts. I'm not sure, but I've heard it said before that uh, the statue uh, eyes move. So I'm not sure, but definitely, he's a handsome man, <laughs> and he has a great story. And I think his story, like I said before in a few a few of my videos, his story needs to be told. So. Anyway, uh, I'm digressing. This spell is to bind uh, mother and daughter uh, together in love and to sweeten up the situation. I'm going to put a ton of brown sugar in that and a few more bits and pieces, uh, some oils that I make, etc. And that's another thing I'd like to go into videos uh, as to how to make oils, certain oils. I'm getting a lot of requests for that too. Uh, 
And I say, uh, too many times I've noticed in these videos and I've been told that. <laughs> I don't care. I can't change me. So I can't. But anyway, uh, that's really, uh, that's really everything I have to say for now. Uh, so, uh, I'll be working on this for quite a while and it will reside on this altar space and we can watch and see how things go and hopefully the client's uh, daughter will start to you know calm down respect her mother uh, and, and show her you know show her some kindness uh, I think they really they really are close but I don't know they I think they just need that push in the right direction some some families need that so I'm going to hop off for the night. More videos to come. Uh, Housemagic at gmail.com.